Welcome to Sharp's Kiln, Swaddling Coat. This building has become something of a landmark on the corner of Alexander Road and West Street in the town. It was built as one of two kilns in 1821. They were built by William Sharp and his son Thomas, and this is where they began their pottery. Little did they know that less than 200 years later, that this area would become quite a, an open space and somewhere where people really enjoyed themselves. The workers who worked in here in extreme conditions and terrible grime could never have imagined that at one time, along with the buildings around it, it would become Sharp's Pottery Museum, where there is a cafe, there are exhibitions, and other events for children and adults alike. Over a 12 month period, Sharp's Museum holds various exhibitions in its lower gallery, just off from their shop and reception area. There are also other items exhibited on a permanent basis in their upper gallery, and that is where we are now. There's, there's various uh, exhibits of pottery from all around our locality. During Heritage Weekend, which falls in September every year, they tend to pick on a certain theme uh, and make a, an exhibition in their temporary area on one subject. Last year, it was TG Green. This year, it's the work of Henry Tooth and Brett Art Pottery. Some examples of this are either side of me. We're now in a building in another part of Derbyshire uh, where shops store many of their acquisitions that it is impossible to display because of space restrictions. There's quite a story behind how all these pieces of Brett Art pottery came to Swaddling Coat. They're from a collector in London originally, and it is quite a story. But I'm not the one to tell it. This uh, guy here who's just walked in, Martin Roughton, friend and associate and trustee at the Magic Attic, is the one who became quite attached to these over a number of months, cleaning and photographing them. And uh, it's up to Martin really to tell you that story. It could also inform you more about Brett B. Pottery if you attend his talk on September the 10th during Heritage Weekend. But that's for later. Brett B. Art Pottery employed some very good artists and some of their work is seen here. This book will be the item of the month uh, in a separate showcase at Sharp's Museum. It is the early catalogue of work produced by Henry Tooth at Brett Bay Art Pottery. It's been kindly donated to us by David Parker, who is uh, one of the Parker family who were the last owners of the pottery when it was in production. Many of the items are drawn in pen and pencil. Some have got dimensions written on them. Quite an important piece of uh, history from the pottery industry of South Derbyshire. Here in the cafe and tea room, adjoining Sharp's Pottery, there is more evidence of Brett Bay Art Pottery. Above me is a mural that for many years was fixed into the showroom at Brett Bay Art. On it is uh, William Trivet, who was Henry Tooth's chief artist up until about 1910. Just behind him is Florence Tooth, Henry's daughter. And the other lady in this painting is believed to be Ruth Heap, another artist at Brett Bay Art Pottery. We've also got a piece of pottery that's been kindly donated to us 
by the Parker family. This is on permanent loan to Sharp's Pottery. And this piece of pottery is almost the same as the item that Florence Tooth is decorating. Yeah. So this Heritage Weekend, we're hoping to put a lot more of these out on show for people to come, look at and hopefully enjoy. We're hoping to put a lot more of these out on show for people to come, look at and hopefully enjoy.